Hey guys! Guys, did you know that some basic English adjectives used to describe people like friendly, successful, helpful, don't have direct counterparts in French? Yeah. So in this video, we are going to see the most commonly used ones and see how we can express their meaning in French. And tell us guys if you have them in your language or like in French, you need to find a way to express their meaning with a verb or an expression or in a different way. Vous êtes prêts? C'est parti! The first one is basic. They're all basic actually. <laughs> friendly. Friendly, like talking about people, like he's friendly. Either we will say, il est très sympa, il est très sympa, full version sympathique, which means nice. So it doesn't reflect the exact meaning, the exact idea. There is no friend dimension in it. We have another one, which is gentil, which is stronger than sympa, like kind. So you can say, il est sympa, he is nice. Il est gentil, which is like, he is kind. We have the adjective amical, which means friendly, yes, but we do not use it for people. We can say friendly smile, sourire amical, we can say rapport amical, we can say match amical, friendly game friendly relationship, but don't say he is amical, talking about someone. One more basic is successful. We don't have the adjective successful in French. So if your sentence is he is very successful, we would say il a beaucoup de succès. Il a beaucoup de succès. So successful in French is avoir du succès, literally to have success. So we don't have the adjective we use to have success. And we also have the verb réussir, which is to succeed, but we don't have that adjective. Next one is tricky to say for me. supportive, supportive. So we don't have that adjective neither. And we will use the verb soutenir, which means to support. For example, your sentence is my family is very supportive. In French, you will say ma famille me soutient beaucoup. And the tricky part about this verb is that this verb is transitive. It means it requires an object. You see, I said, ma famille me soutient beaucoup. So, supports me. You need to have the object. You need to say who is supported. And depending on the context, supportive can be also translated as solidaire. So, it depends what you mean exactly. Solidaire from the word solidarité. Solidarité, which is solidarity. So, if this is the idea you are looking for, you can use solidaire. Uh, you can also use favorable. Favorable to be in favor of something. Like, for example, if I say, elle est favorable à ses idées, she welcomes his ideas. She is supportive of his ideas. This is the choice you have in French, guys. But we don't have that adjective. Next one is helpful. If we want to say, thank you, you are so helpful, or thank you, you've been so helpful, uh, we will say, merci, tu m'as beaucoup Aider. Merci, tu m'as beaucoup aidé. Aider is to help. So once again, we use a verb, aider. However, we have the adjective serviable, which sometimes can be used, but serviable comes from the word servir. So to serve, service, a service. So we mostly use it for waiters, hotel staff. For example, we can say, le personnel de l'hôtel est très serviable. The staff is very helpful. So guys, so far, do you have them in your language? Let us know. The next one is resourceful. Depending on the context, um, you can use different adjectives. The first one would be débrouillard. Débrouillard is usually used when we talk about someone who knows how to get out of trouble. So we will say, il est débrouillard. In feminine, elle est débrouillarde. We also have the verb se débrouiller, which means to manage, to cope. Se débrouiller. Il se débrouille. Bien. Elle se débrouille bien. Option number two, guys, you have is astucieux, which refers to one's ability to find smart and inventive solutions to problems using his intelligence and wit. We use it a lot to describe objects and ideas that demonstrate clever design or innovative features. Uh, so when we want to emphasize the smart and practical nature of the item or concept, we will say astucieux. You can say c'est très astucieux. You see something, you, you find it smart, you can say c'est très astucieux. And option number three would be ingénieux. Ingénieux, someone who is clever and inventive in finding creative solutions to problems. So depending on the context, you can go for one of them. Next one is forgiving. We don't have this adjective. So you can express this idea by être capable de pardonner ou savoir 
pardonner. For example, if you want to say he is forgiving or she is forgiving, you will say il or elle est capable de pardonner. Il est capable de pardonner, elle est capable de pardonner. Il sait pardonner, elle sait pardonner. Être capable de pardonner, to be able to forgive. So he has the quality of being able to forgive. Guys, if you are unfamiliar with those equivalents in French, I advise you to make examples in your notebook or under this video because those adjectives are so basic. You say helpful, friendly, successful all the time. Talk about someone you know, your family, your friends, whatever. Put them in sentences relevant to you and try to memorize. Like you need them every day, right? Okay, next one, naughty. To say he's naughty, we will mostly say il est pas sage. So literally not well behaved. Être sage, his sage is his well behaved. And the first meaning of sage is wise. So you can often hear passage talking about people's actions, choices, meaning unwise. Okay, so be careful. It has different meanings. Next one is healthy, guys. We don't have healthy talking about people. So in French, to say I'm healthy, he's healthy, you are healthy, we will say il est en bonne santé. Literally in a good health. But we don't have healthy for people. But we have the adjective sain, which is healthy. But we use it for food, like healthy food, nourriture, sain. Or lifestyle, vie sain. Mode de vie sain. Also esprit sain. Healthy mind. For people, it's en bonne santé. Être en bonne santé. Next one, which is a very nice one, one is caring. So we don't have it and you have few options depending on the context, guys, once again. So we have prendre soin de quelqu'un. Prendre soin de quelqu'un is to take care of someone. Or also être au petit soin pour quelqu'un. To take care of someone as well. So for example, you can say elle est au petit soin pour son fils. She takes good care of her son. Elle prend soin de son fils. And once again, the tricky part is this verb is transitive. It requires an object. So, elle prend soin de, of who, right? We need to precise. And depending on the context, guys, you might opt for the adjective aimant, which means loving. So, if this is the meaning you are looking for, mostly you can go for aimant. And also we have attentionné. Attentionné is like thoughtful. So, you can go for this one and you can also go for Empathique, empathique, empathic. So it depends which one is the closest to what you want to say, guys. But we don't have caring. We don't have it. And the last one, guys, is easygoing. Basic, right? We don't really have it. So to say that someone is relaxed and like tolerant in attitude, we will use the adjective cool. Cool. So cool is cool. And also we have facile à vivre. Facile à vivre. Literally easy to live. So, which refers to someone who is like generally pleasant to be around and adaptable in various situations. Facile à vivre. So, we would say, elle est facile à vivre. Elle est facile à vivre. That's it, guys. As you can see, they are all very basic adjectives. Honestly, personally, I'm very curious to know if you have them in your language, which of them you don't have, like in French. And let me know, guys, if you want more words and expressions like this between French and English. We have some expressions and words in French that do not exist in English, like they don't have direct counterparts and vice versa. So let me know if you want more of this. Like you made my day, we don't have it. I'm sure there are not a lot of languages which have this one, right, guys? Do you have you made my day? We don't have it. And don't forget to like and subscribe, guys, and see you in my next video. And put your examples, I will try to correct.